क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have talked about the important uh, compounds uh, which contains calcium and now we are going to talk about the biological importance of calcium as well as magnesium so now let us talk about that so talking about the importance of the calcium and the magnesium uh, in our body so let us uh, discuss about the magnesium first that is magnesium is the cofactor of all the enzymes that utilizes the atp in phosphate transfer as well as in the energy release so magnesium plays a very vital role in uh, basically uh, in the phosphate transfer and this atp is present in our body and that's the reason that it is also a kind of uh, it, it liberates energy that's the reason uh, because of which our body uh, do a function and all the cells also they do a function so that plays a very vital role and now let us talk about the next one that is the chlorophyll that is the main pigment for the absorption of light in plants that contains uh, magnesium and it helps in photosynthesis so chlorophyll is the main cause because of uh, which the photosynthesis occurs and that chlorophyll consists of magnesium and that is how uh, the photosynthesis happen and that is how we uh, we could consume uh, plants and vegetables because of uh, that only and we could consume uh, or we could get energy from that and uh, so this is playing a very vital role uh, in the biology and now let us move on to the uh, uh, importance of calcium and that is so talking about the importance of calcium as we know that calcium is present in bones and teeth and that is the main component for which we could we consume uh, uh, different kind of medicines that could enhance or that could increase the calcium in our body or in our bones so as to strengthen that and that is the reason that calcium plays a very important role in uh, uh, in form of bones and now let us talk about the next one that is it plays an important role in blood coagulation also as well as neuromuscular function and cell membrane integrity so not only in terms of it is present in our bones and teeth but it also plays a very important role in various factors that i have mentioned about here and so these are the biological importance of the magnesium and uh, calcium that should be present in our body and let us talk about the deficiency so what happens if the magnesium is not present in our body so magnesium is related to uh, uh, if if we have a deficiency of magnesium then we could uh, we could have a problem uh, that is known as a neuromuscular uh, irritation and that is nothing but the weakening of muscles and obviously that could cause a various problem to us in our future so that's the reason a sufficient amount of magnesium is also been required for our body and talking about the calcium if we have deficiency of calcium then what we could get is obviously because it is related to bones and teeth uh, and it is present in bones and teeth that's the reason we could uh, found that uh, our bones will get weakened and our bones will get softened and that arises because of the deficiency of calcium and this kind of disease or this kind of problem that we could uh, get because of the deficiency of calcium is known as uh, osteomalacia and that plays a very uh, difficult thing for us to survive and uh, so that where the biological importance of calcium and that is how calcium and magnesium the both are needed uh, in our body Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope you'll share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.